something to say, something to say. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Art House 21 and it is time for another unboxing video. Now, those who follow the channel know that I've been doing a lot of stuff trying to get ready for the Run DMV speedrun events that's coming up on um, the 20th of October. So today is Friday, 20th is on Sunday. So I've been scrambling trying to get my new car, which is still yet to be named, although I have some candidates, uh, ready to go. Um, but the problem was I had to go out of town on the trip and my new car wasn't here. Well, or I should say when the new car showed up, I wasn't here. So guess what came in the mail when I was gone? So we'll go ahead and start. So I've got a lot of stuff that needs to be done. Okay, so the thing is, I've been building a lot of XL1s. And but the XL ones that I've been building so far have been basically for eBay and to get experience down so I can make myself ready for when my car can. So this is an eBay acquisition. There we go. Let's hope. Let's see what's in the box. And whoa, whoa, whoa. Here we've got Traxxas TQI radio. We've got a nice body in good condition. Actually, like new. This is very good condition. And under here, we have Nice, good condition, Traxxas X01. All right, so this is going to be the core of my new run car. The thing is, I'm not gonna run it like this. You know, it's, it's, you guys know me, I can't leave anything stock. So this car between today and Sunday is going to be completely disassembled, reworked. Uh, there's a Boca orange ceramic bearing uh, upgrade that's gonna be applied to this thing. I'm gonna go in, tune up the differentials, uh, put new fluid, new oil in, um, basically tear this down to absolutely nothing and completely rebuild it from the ground up. And then new tires, the whole nine yards. This is it's not going to be the same vehicle when I get done with it. And hopefully get out there and turn some good numbers. So guys, keep watching. You're going to see a lot of a lot of video on this here coming very shortly. But to support getting this guy ready, we got some other boxes over here. So um, just so that you know, I've already got my own radio. So this is going up on eBay. So I'm going to test it, make sure it works, and then just going out to one of you guys. Also, these Traxxas X01 tires. I know they're supposed to be 100 mile an hour speed run tires. I'm not using those. You know, I've, I've, I've been using SP Racing tires. I also have a set of GRPs on standby. So stepping down from these larger seven scale to fifth, I'm sorry, to eighth scale wheels. Uh, so there's a completely different set of gears going in everything. Like I said, when I get done with this, it'll be complete tear down and rebuild, reprogramming the ESC, a whole nine yards. So you keep track. Like I said, rebuild the shocks. It's not going to be the same car that you're seeing here. Okay, but like I was saying, so to support getting everything up and going, okay, go over here. Since I'm going to be using my own radio, Need to get new receivers. So these, I'm using um, Turnigy uh, 3XS radio. These are compatible with it. So one of these guys is gonna go inside of here. And also just because I've got a lot of other stuff cooking, we have another package. And this comes from our good friends at Dollar Hobby. So one of the things that I've been doing, you know, 
it helps if the knife does not go flying. I don't want to slash my slash my wrist. Live on eBay. Sorry, live on YouTube. Okay, so like I mentioned, I've been doing a lot of XO1 stuff lately. Really. So in order to get everything up and running, what we got here. This is a set of, this is a set of bulkheads. Uh, these are Dollar Hobby Rally bulkheads. Why do I have Rally bulkheads? Well, I have Rally bulkheads because an XL1 and a Slash have, use the same differential housings. I could pick these Rally uh, Aqua or differential housings up for very, very, very little. Why do I need more of those? Because, Over here in the wings, we've got this guy, which is being built up, and that's going to turn into another level chassis. And oh, by the way, we've got this guy that has been built up. So let's just take this in for a second. So here you've got a lot of XO1 stuff. So like I was saying, a lot of this stuff, you know, to be honest, this was really practice. Because in order to get myself together and ready to run, I knew that I need the fiberglass, you know, about my run body. So my original roller came with a run body. And now that's been fiberglass, I don't need two bodies. So this guy's getting prepped. Just want to clean it up. This reinforced XL1 body is going up on eBay. So one of you guys are going to be able to add that to your collection. And then over here, this is going to be the XL1. This is going to be the body for my runner. That's not going up on eBay. This is going to be my personal run by. So, and and it's not quite finished yet. You know, still dressing up a little bit, but you can see, you know, there's a lot of X on one here. So, and a lot of this stuff is going to be finding its way into your capable hands. So, all right, guys, I just wanted to kind of show you what's going on in our house land. So, keep a lookout. The X01 rolling chassis, which I think is here, is going to be going up here online pretty soon. And this is a built from the ground up using all new components um, that um, I said, you're going to see this guy coming up. And this is special because I'll just show you this. This, I wanted to, I made a personal challenge. I wanted to build an X01, but I wanted to build it on an affordable price point. So, these are both XL1s, they're both 100 mile an hour capable. This one was substantially, this one is a lot more approachable than that one. And that's because I built it using slash and rally parts. And you'll see videos on that and talking about the Ryan detail. You'll see that in the, the video with the company this eBay auction. But this one right here, this is this is my bad boy. And you know, well, at least it's going to be once I tear it down and rebuild it. So keep a lookout. A lot of content coming. Okay, guys, as always, remember to watch your plastic fly, break it, fix it, do it all again. Remember to uh, keep an eye out on the Facebook page and uh, Instagram and all social media. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, remember the mantra like I said, fly, fix, fly, break it, fix it, and do it all over again. Okay, guys, our house 21 signing out. See you next time.